Whoa, this is odd. See, the camera's not moving, so you, you guys don't get motion sickness from watching my videos anymore. This is a great day. So anyway, today I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a seven-step tutorial. Um, the tutorial, tutorial, it actually has seven steps, as the name suggests. Just like the sixth step, just with one more move, or one more step involved. And um, yeah, so you know, you got the six plus one equals um seven yeah take that calculus and you know calculus wasn't that bad until actually math wasn't all that bad until they decided to mix the whole alphabet in there but aside from that um yeah so this is gonna be my seven step tutorial let me angle the camera a little bit more down um okay so just like in a lot of my footwork tutorials, uh, I'm going to start by... Actually, let me show you what it looks like first. So, 7-step looks like... Looks like that. Um, and a feature, or a disclaimer that I should say right now is... Uh, my footwork seem, will seem a lot lower and a lot more unclean than a lot of other people. Uh, only because, you know... Uh, I can't put my inner knuckle on the floor, so I either have to resort to fingertips or just go flat-handed. But, of course, fingertips, you know, when I'm hyped, I'll use my fingertips so I look good and stuff. But right now, it's just going to give me extra discomfort and make the tutorial hard to teach. So, for the sake of this video, bear with me as I use the f my flat hands. And, yeah. So, okay, back to the whole like in every single video. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what it looks like from this position because I feel like it's a lot easier actually this is really awkward because I'm talking to the wall but I feel like this way you guys will learn it better because you get to follow along um, my, my footwork goes this way so if you're if you're clockwise then you're solid just do whatever I do but if you're counterclockwise I just suggest you take everything I do and just flip it around so yeah, let's get started. So let's get in this position. And I am not doing this purposely show off my big butt. I know I'm fat. So but again, this is just the easier way to teach. So you're in this position, and what you're gonna do is go one. You go you went just like just just like six step. You're gonna go one, except this is the part where it's different. Um, after one, you're gonna go ahead and step over like this. And in case that, that was on camera, I'm gonna show you one more time here. One, or no, this is actually zero. One, two. From two, you're gonna go ahead and, sorry my arm is shaking. Uh, you go ahead and go, and with your uh, first foot that you put out, your one foot, you know, one, two, with your one foot, you're gonna go ahead and kick out like this. And what that looks like from the front position, looks like it looks like this. So, one, two, three. Now you know what I mean when I mean kick out. And when you do kick out, make sure you do not get lazy and sit on your heel. Because, you know, that makes your footwork look all low and ugly like mine. But yeah, so make sure you don't sit on your heel. Uh, so from one, two, Three, what you do is bring it back. And what I mean by bring it back is one, two, three, bring it back. And then from the bring it back, you're gonna wrap your foot around just like the sixth step, come out and come out. So let me show you from this way before I start rambling again. So you go here, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I know there's going to be a feature question asking, uh, do you have to stay in one place when you do seven step? Meaning, do you have to face the same direction the whole time? No, no, you don't need to do any of that. You know, again, B-boy, wait, let me make a quick, quick metaphor. Actually, I made one the other day when I did a Facebook comment. Um, it was like, B-boying is an art and dancing 
Is your catch? Actually, that's a total fail. I don't know what I'm saying. But you guys get the idea. Make break dancing you. And, you know, don't try to follow any sort of form or anything, you know. You just gotta be you when you break dance. So, we learned this so far, you know, the whole one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, aside from the, the simple steps of just going around into the seventh step, much like the sixth step, you just need to practice it over and over again, and you'll develop uh, muscle memory for it. You'll be able to do it super clean, super fast, with a lot of practice. Um, again, it's really important. I don't, I don't say this twice to annoy you guys. I say this twice because it's actually really important. Um, do not, when you're here and you kick out, don't resort to sitting on your heel uh, because, you know, it's going to make you look really off. So, when you do... Uh, Go for the kick out, make sure you're off your heel, there's plenty of space, you bring it back, and you continue. Um, so that about wraps up my 7 step tutorial. Uh, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm actually dripping sweat because I am so fat and lazy. So I'm going to go ahead and end this by saying feel free to subscribe if you haven't. Uh, by the way, my name is B-Boy Juni, if this is your first, if this is my first tutorial that you're watching, and go ahead and follow me on Face or like me on Facebook. Uh, follow me on Twitter and Tumblr because I'm a social networking whore. And that's about it. So yeah, deuces.